Today I'm gonna give you 20 tips for better and faster photo editing in Lightroom Classic just in under 4 minutes, so without further ado, let's start the clock and get to it. To start off with, I have a couple of tips on tweaking the edit values. Did you know that you can tweak the slider values incrementally with the up and down arrow keys by hovering over the value you want to tweak and then tapping the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard? If you hold down Alt on Windows or Option on Mac, the increments will be smaller and if you hold down Shift, the increments will be larger. You can also use the histogram to change the exposure tone settings. Just click and drag on the histogram to tweak the brightness of your image. The histogram can also be used to make sure you aren't clipping any highlights or crushing any blacks. Just click on the little arrows in the corners of the histogram to toggle indicators for highlight and black value clipping. Next up, let's take a look at what the Alt or Option key on your keyboard can do. First of all, holding down Alt on Windows or Option on a Mac will make changing the curves a lot more subtle to really fine tune the curves the way you want to. Holding down Alt or Option will also give you a reset button to any of the editing panels. Holding down Alt or Option will also change the way you can view the image while changing a lot of the settings, for example sharpening or the HSL tweaks. Next up we're gonna copy and paste settings, so did you know that you can copy the tweaks from any photo by using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on a Mac and then paste the settings to a different image with Ctrl V or Command V. You can also copy settings in the library module if you have several photos selected by using the sync button down here or by toggling the switch to go to auto sync mode so that every tweak you do will be done to all of the selected images. And now that we're in the library module, let's take a look at labeling our images with our keyboard. Using the keyboard numbers 1 through 5 will give a star rating to your image and numbers from 6 to 9 will change the label color. X will mark the photo as rejected and P will mark it as a pick. Now let's jump back into the develop module and check out a couple of things with the masking tool. If you need to create a radial gradient mask that spans perfectly from one edge to the other, just select the radial gradient tool, hold down Ctrl on Windows or Command on Mac and double click on the image. When you're creating a mask, you can change the color of the mask overlay to be anything you ever want to. Just click on the little colored box below the mask and change the color and opacity to help you better see the mask you are creating. To help you do the edits for your masked out areas, there are tons of built-in presets like soft and skin in Lightroom. You can also create your own presets to speed up your workflow if you always do the same kind of vignette for example. Talking about presets, while importing photos you can apply any preset you have in Lightroom if you want to get a starting point with your favorite preset for every photo you import into Lightroom. Honestly, this feature is one that I would never personally use, but it is there if you want to use it. Jumping back into the develop module, let's open up the crop tool. In here, if you hit the O key on your keyboard, you can scroll through several different overlays to help you frame your photo. Now, with the healing tools to better see if there's dust or dirt in your image, you can use the visualize spots overlay to better see any imperfections in your image. If you do a lot of corrections with the healing tools and your image gets cluttered with the markers, you can use the H key to hide the markers and this will help you keep on working with the healing tools. This way you can also click several times on the same area without selecting the previous patch. For the last few tips, I want to focus on how you view the workspace in Lightroom. So first, to see your photo without any distractions, you can hit the L key to dim out everything else but the image you are working on. If you only want to affect the background area of your image, right click somewhere on the background and select any of the available options. If you think the editing panel is a bit too messy and you want to tidy it up, right click on any of the develop module panels and select solo mode. Now only one of the panels will be open at once. And for the last tip of this video, we're going to zoom into our image. You can do it very precisely by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and dragging left or right with your mouse to zoom into the area you initially clicked on. And that is it, that is 20 tips for editing your photos in Lightroom Classic. I hope you found this helpful and I hope they were new to you. And if there are any tips that I didn't mention in this video, just drop a comment down below and tell me what those tips are because that could also help a lot of other people that are watching this video. So that is all I have for today. So thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one.